What's up everybody and welcome back to some gameplay. I decided to take it all the way back to one of my favorite playthroughs. Well, one of my favorite marathon of playthroughs from the old TOC days and that was the Mario Marathon. So, figured the best way to do that is to boot up All-Stars with Super Mario World. So we got Mario 1, the Lost Levels, Mario 2 USA, Mario 3, one of my personal faves, and Mario World, probably one of my all-time favorites other than Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So, of course, also part of that was the Yoshi's Island playthrough, but that will have to be done separately because it's not in this pack. So, I suppose we're just going to start at the beginning and go with Mario 1. Except this time, it's just one player. I do have to adjust my volume though. I feel like it is very loud. Much better. So if I recall, played this before, didn't actually finish it. During the off time, I actually attempted to learn how to speed run this. Not very well. I actually never made it past World 1, or not World 1, World 4 1 as far as speed run tricks go. So, probably not going to do too many of them, but I don't know. I might try a couple of them. But I'm not really doing it to, to speed run it. As you can see. I am contemplating maybe doing Mario World capeless if possible. But I don't know if it's even possible to do all 96 exits capeless. But I am going to do everything as warpless as possible. <sighs> Let me just verify that everything's actually recording, and it is good. Cool. I've actually kind of upgraded my recording setup a little bit. Well, actually, I've upgraded it a lot since the last time this marathon happened. Last time, uh... Well, I mean, I want to say I did. I want to say the last time th this marathon happened... What the fuck? Last time this marathon happened, we were recording on some Samson... Meteorite USB mics and like they were jerry rigged through a voice meter because they were USB mics, so the computer would only read it one at a time. But I was able to use banana or voice meter to make it pick up both of them, and honestly, that is why there's a lot of feedback in the TOC episodes. I did try to reduce it with some noise canceling and editing, but it wouldn't take all of it out. So anytime you watch one of those videos, that's why there's a slight in the background of everything. What the f- I never once knew that that block was there.
Yeah, in fact, I think we were still using that setup. Up until... I don't know. Ocarina of Time might have been the only playthrough that we did with the new microphones. Which are what I'm using now. And like a professional mixer and all that good stuff. Damn it! So, yeah. I've also become a lot more familiar with OBS. And, like, back then I didn't know how to do multi-channel audio. But now I do, so... Like, just to let you know what it used to be like. If the game audio was too loud, it was all done on the same track. So, I couldn't edit our voices higher or drop the game audio, you know, individually. It was all on one track, so that's, that's what we were stuck with. So, that's why some episodes are really, really quiet and why some episodes are kind of blown out back in the day. But now that I can do split audio... I'm on my own track. The game audio is on its own track. If I was streaming on Twitch and was listening to some music, it would be on its own track and I could delete it from the YouTube upload. So, things have gotten quite better. Oh, that was close. I, for a second, thought that fish was going to be get me. <sighs> anyway, we're actually breezing through this a lot better than I expected to. I think the first time around, it took us like three episodes to get this far. Maybe not that bad, but it took a while. And I think I ended up having to just warp to world eight so that we could finally finish the damn thing what what was with that jump I had intentions on bringing a fire flower to Bowser at least one time I don't know if that's gonna happen though Ooh, I clipped into the wall a little bit. I could have done a wall jump. Fuck. <sighs> well, I'd say we're off to a good start. And this is probably a great place to end the first episode. So... I think I'm back. And should be doing episodes more regularly. So, I'll see y'all in the next video.